All right, folks, welcome back. Today we have something I think is going to be pretty interesting. We're going to head into Golf Galaxy and try out the most expensive driver and then compare that to the least expensive driver there. So should be fun. Let us know who you think is going to win. Also, we're getting super close to 175,000 subscribers, so uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to have a big special and giveaway. But uh, who do you think is going to win? Cheapest uh, or longest? Well, I, I guess we have to... For the underdog. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, try and be as... Uh, fair as possible. <laughs> Hopefully go. we don't find one of my all-time favorite drivers that I'm going to be a little uh, nostalgic over yes. it. Also, speaking of uh, most expensive versus least expensive, back there our car is parked next to two BMW M series. Our Subaru is feeling fancy. Yeah, I'd still take a Subaru. So let's see if the uh, cheapest one uh, beats out the uh, most expensive yeah. one at Golf Galaxy as well. Was that a good intro? <laughs> Okay. It was an intro. There you go. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got a ton of drivers here to choose from. Oh, we got a yeah, PXG. That might be an expensive one. $165. I think we can probably find one more expensive than that. We got a Rogue ST. Oh, it's got a yeah, graphite design shaft in it. This is going to be a pricey combo. Going for $545. That one is currently in the lead. We got a yeah, Big Bertha B21. Those ones can be pricey. Going for $285. See if we can pick one out just based on the ish. Oh, we got a, a TSI 2 with a, a graphite design going for 235. That's actually a, a pretty good deal. Let's see. Ooh, we got a TaylorMade Stealth. That one's probably going to be the uh, most expensive. <laughs> okay. Either that or the uh, Rogue ST. Yeah. This one's got a Ventus Chef going for $560. I don't think that we're going to uh, beat that one. No. All right. Yeah, yeah, I'm see not seeing any uh, one that would be more expensive. We got the LTD X. What is that going for? 415 Got another TaylorMade stuff back here going for the uh, same price. Yeah, I don't think we're going to beat that. Let's see what we got in terms of the cheapest drivers. We got a Wilson D9 going for 190 Another Wilson right here going for, what is that? $39.99. I don't think we're going to uh, beat that. Oh, we got a yeah, title is 909D. I think this is actually the driver that Zach Johnson, oh, it's $35. I think that's the driver that Zach Johnson used to win the uh, Masters. Don't quote me on that, but I'm not seeing anything that's going to be cheaper yeah, than that. We I got a bunch of lefty ones over there, but I think that would throw off the yeah, that would definitely throw off the uh, <laughs> the accuracy of an already <laughs> inaccurate uh, competition. Two hundred and ten dollars. So yeah, I think the uh, winners are this tailor-made stealth with a vintage shaft for five hundred and. <laughs> What is that? Five hundred and sixty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Yeah. Then we got a Titleist nine hundred nine D comp going for thirty-five dollars. Got a Matrix Ozeke shaft in there versus a Ventus. Lots of things that are different. There you go. Who do you think is going to win? I think it's actually going to be closer than we think it's going to be. I don't know. That's like almost a twenty-year difference. Okay. <laughs> About as high end a shaft as you can get. That one's a good shaft at the uh, time, but secretly I'm rooting for the underdog. Though. All right, let's go uh, hit the uh, track man and see what the uh, the results are. <laughs> All right, going up with the Titleist first. Let's get ten with this. This thing is like so rounded. You don't really see that anymore. It's like super deep too. That's right. Oh. <laughs> I like the dramatic delay. Yeah. That was uh, very spinny. We don't have the spin numbers up here, but should be, give you like a good uh, indication. 107.8, that's not terrible, but definitely spinny and way to the right. You might uh, throw out some outliers, but be interesting to see how forgiving each one of them are too. Uh-huh. I think I turned that one over. It's kind of fun guessing what it's going to do. Yeah, right? that one's perfect for me. I like the dramatic pause. Yeah. 284, 106, so club head speed dropped a little bit, but obviously a better uh, result. Also, 3,000 likes, and we'll do this with Ashley. Huh. <laughs> Ashley hates simulators. Terrified of them. That one felt good. Sounded good. 287. There you go. New contender. Yeah, so my smash factor was probably a lot better because 106.4 is a little bit lower. Hit that one out of the center probably, which is a rarity. That one's probably the furthest so far. 287.5. Ooh, I pushed it a little bit though. Club head speeds up a little bit. I gotta say, this thing is uh, performing pretty dang good for, what was it? $35? Right? Two ninety. Oh, that might hit the line. That's incredibly straight. That one's gonna be hard to beat. Oh. Also, I'm gonna be swinging like the same for both of them. 
Don't think that I'm cheating. 291.5. What shot was that? Number six? I think so, but that was the same. That's the highest, right? Yeah, 291.5. 107.2, that's a pretty good smash factor. Smash factor is basically like how efficient your hit was. So if you have like 110 mile an hour club head speed, you could hit it like way out here and it doesn't matter, so it won't go as far. That one's way to the right, or I duck hooked it. Way to the right. All right, so, All right, so that's basically two missed fairways and 291.5 is the furthest so far. We got a couple more. I hit that one kind of thin. Fastest club head speed, lowest distance. Yeah. That's what I was talking about with Smash Factor. I hit it really low off of the FA, so it's gonna spin a ton and not really go as far. You didn't hit the sweet spot. There you go. Golf terms. Terms. There we go. 294.8, 108.2. Missed so the fair. fairway. I think that's uh, three missed fairways though. Was that yeah. 10? Um, we'll give a bonus one at the end if we recount it. There you but go. Uh, Taylor made stealth. Up next. 294.8. Yep. That looks like it's in maybe on the fairway. Yeah. Close. We're in the first cut. First cut. Yeah, for sure. All right. First one with the Taylor made stealth. Gotta say, this one has a, it's a little bit funkier to look down to. A classic Titleist to a uh, new school uh, Taylor made. Let's see if it makes a difference. That felt so good. 269. What? I was not expecting that. Yeah, it didn't pick up my club head speed, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be accurate. All right. Well, that was not the uh, hottest of starts, but let's see, we can't pick it up. That should be good. My left foot gave out. 292, Ooh. 110 right down the middle. It'd be interesting to see if this is more forgiving because that's what a lot of like other YouTube yeah, channels say. Yeah, distance and forgiveness. Yeah, like the, uh, the distance is more consistent across the face. So I guess you'll see that like on the miss heads. Although that was the, uh, the first one was the yeah. shortest one that I hit. So what do I know? We'll let the numbers do the talking. <laughs> 297.4. I think we only hit nine with the uh, Titleist and I kind of swung out of my shoes so. on that one now that I'm loose. So we'll give a Titleist one last crack at the end to see if it can beat it. So stay tuned for that, but. Dramatic. 197.4. For your third shot, right? Yup. That was a smother hook. Oh, first one to miss to the uh, left. 272, 108. So the highest is 297.4. I think so. If I say it out loud. Also, I'm uh, trying to use the exact same ball every single time, so that's accurate. Keeping oh, this yeah. for a, a video on our channel, this is about as scientific <laughs> and as uh, accurate as it's gonna be. We used to do the uh, golf ball reviews. It was just like me, like, that felt good. But every single time, it didn't it matter what it was, though. you hit it the same distance. Yeah. But yes, control those variables. Oh, nope, got the tassel hitting the mic. Oh, no. That's probably not good. I have no idea how I hit that one. 284, a little draw. Still pretty good though. Yeah. It's kind of interesting that I'm drawing this one a little bit more than the uh, Titleist. Huh. When you stand over it, the Titleist looks like almost a little bit more closed. This one looks like really neutral, standard loft. So yeah, this is set to neutral. That one's off the top of the face. So that's going to be a rocket. 290, <laughs> 110. Ooh. Oof. Didn't carry very far. So that was your six? Yeah. Six. That one probably didn't have very much spin because it landed at 245 but rolled all the way out to 290. Two ninety five. That's a missed fairway. One oh eight. Two ninety four point four. Definitely getting the most two nineties out of this one. Mm -hmm. But I also have my shortest drive. Oh, that one felt perfect. Whoa, that was the shortest one. Dang, See? what do I know? Huh. That one was dead straight out of the middle of the face, but I must have just had the face closed. 109.7. That 
that's a duck hook. So what is that? That is way off yeah. the uh, fairway. Also, that is the uh, shortest. Huh. Obviously, I'm not a robot, so this isn't like overly accurate, but I think we've missed the same amount of fairways, but my shortest shots were with the TaylorMade Stealth. Mm -hmm. And we're talking like margins of like a couple of yards for, what is it? Lots of money difference. and technology, time, everything. Yeah. It'd also be interesting if we could like pull this shaft and put it in that. Because I think my club head speed has been higher with this. Huh. I don't know if that's aerodynamics on the head or the shaft kicking better. All right. Let's see what the uh, old Tylus is. I think he's got a bonus one. Yep. It's got to be 297. 297.4. All right. And everybody's roasting me if that's not the right number. <laughs> uh, Let's go. No, hit that way off the toe. 289 in the fairway, way off the tail. We'll give it one more shot. There you go. Bonus, bonus. I'm not rooting for either one, but I kind of want to see if I can hit this a little All bit right. further. <laughs> I want to prove it Last wrong. shot, regardless of what we got going on. Go. Perfect. Please be good. The last time I saw it was perfect, it was terrible. Ah, 289.4. But still. Yeah. It, it kept up definitely kept up all right folks that's gonna do it for us hopefully you guys did enjoy this video let us know who you thought won it was a it was a lot closer than i thought it was yeah. going to be i think the uh, longest drive of the day went to the uh, tailor made and also the shortest drive I of the day we hit the most fairways with the uh, titleist but for 530 dollars difference i don't know how i feel about that yeah one. let us know who you think is the uh, better deal also yeah. these uh, bmw uh, m series are pretty sweet <laughs> I still take the Subaru though, but let us know what you would uh, choose in terms of the drivers. Or to make it more scientific, because that was scientific for us though. Yeah, it would be cool to uh, swap out the uh, shafts, because my highest club head speeds were with the uh, Taylor Bage, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's about as close as we, oh, almost witnessed a uh, car accident. Hopefully this video hasn't been too much of a car accident and you did enjoy this. Let us know if you want us to uh, do this again. I yeah. think it would be fun. Get Ashley in the uh, track, man. You can't break it, it is behind you. You're very oh, nervous of shanking it into the GC quads. There you go. Maybe I'll get the courage one day. Yeah, we'll do the uh, least expensive versus most expensive uh, ladies drivers. Uh, no, I'll just hit the least expensive. No, you're not going to go with the most expensive? <laughs> right, that's All too right. much nerves. <laughs> 5,000 likes and Ashley will get out there and uh, break a simulator for us. But I hope you guys did like this video. Don't like to subscribe. Hey, we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.